Hello there, this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm not going to be doing a voiceover or anything like that because I'm just going to go through this. I have two giveaways and part of a haul I want to share with you. So first off, I decided to color and just made this really simple card using two paper pumpkin kits from last year of on my mind which is July 2019 and this is from August the gift of fall so on this card I use that image and these two sentiments with Rococo Rose with a ribbon blends cardstock and just super easy but I also have an extra one of these as well and this is for you Today is the last day, the 10th of every month is the last day that you can sign up for any Paper Pumpkin subscription to get, like today's June 10th, and it'll be the last day that you can sign up to get the June Paper Pumpkin Kit. There's going to be links underneath this YouTube description that will take you to blog posts that have videos for what this month's Paper Pumpkin Kit looks like, and a lot of my customers seem to enjoy it so you know give it a shot so when you do subscribe for paper pumpkin this month I will enter your name into a drawing to get this July 2019 paper pumpkin again which is this here but you'll get all the supplies in there on top of it so that is one thing I've wanted to go over you with the second thing I've done for two weeks in a row now is send out a newsletter about a class I have going on without the pictures to it. So I'm going to try, I'm going to fix that right now. I have 10% off as a customer appreciation for Gorgeous Posies, which is on page 8 of your new catalog. And this is everything that you get in there. You can purchase the stamp set alone, but if you want to do the kit and everything combined, you get all of that included in there. And again, I will give you 10% off of that and then access to my class. And here is Boho Indigo. And both sweets are just, they're fabulous. This one, you'll get lots of paper and embellishments. And you know how crazy I am about the paper pumpkin leftovers. I use them a lot on everything. And look what you can make. They both have coordinating dies, which is nice. And this is on page 9 of the new catalog. And yes, so if you purchase either one of these, I will put your name in for a drawing for the Dress to Impress bundle of the stamp set and the dies. I have got two of these, and one is going to go to you. Now, the products I'm going to show you is only like part of my haul. I got some last week, but this is what I got yesterday. And I do have my buy one, get one free. So, and that'll be over on the blog too. It's, it has its own page of, you know, buy one, get one free. So this suite here, all together for everything is $70. So when you purchase it, then you go over to my buy one, get one page, and then pick out $70 with the product that you want there. And I will send that to you for free. I will cover shipping. You have to be in the U.S. because of policy. But it's really that simple. And I always include something extra in there because I don't want stuff lying around. You know what a minimalist I am, and I just soon let it go and give it to a you know good new home. So part of what I got yesterday, I'm going to show you five sweets. I got another three. They were, well, I might as well grab World Map. I'm not going to do the papers or anything with this, but this is what the dies look like and the stamp set. I also got the one with the flower jars, and that's the double stamp set and paper and memories and more cards. This one also has memory and more cards, but the DSP on both of them, they're fantastic. So for what I did get yesterday, I'm going to start with something very small first. This is like a mini paper pumpkin box. And you saw how large the other ones were. And this is just the cutest thing ever. I mean, this would be a great Christmas gift box. You can put necklaces in there. They're food safe. And specialized Halloween treats. I imagine filling this up like a lot of those Hershey's Nuggets. But um, they're just the cutest little things ever. 
And I'm going to go through this a little bit alphabetically, I guess. So first off, I have all things fabulous. There's no DSP to this, but look at those images that you get. They are not distinctive, but you, they're um, two-step and three-step. And I, that's, I really like that about these. Tons of different colors. Love the font. And then these are the dies. And I'm, you know how I appreciate these kind of dies here to accent on the side. And a lot of them you'll get two dies, such as these two and like those two there. So you're not constantly cranking through that machine. And that's like the only floral one I got because I have enough flowers left over from you know, the carryovers. Then we have birds and branches, and this is distinctive. And in both of these sets, and pretty much in everything I'm showing you, I see, an, an, except for one of them, an awful lot of Christmas, especially with the, um, the flower jar ones, because there is Christmassy patterns in the DSP and Memories and War cards that actually have some, they state something to do with Christmas, like happy holidays and seasons, greetings and whatnot. But again, this is distinctive and it's two and three stamps. You know, the layering, like here's the base, here is one that you put on top of it. And I haven't done anything with this yet, but you know, it's going to come up. And then these are all the dies. Those are the accent dies. You get two of them. They're separate. And I'm going to put it side by side so you can see exactly what everything cuts. But you stamp these two together and then you can cut it out with this. Birds, a little star. And you know what? There's one more. I had to cheat and put in another little magnet here. This will chop out die cut the nest and then the three eggs you just line it up and this will and here's another accent to put the bird inside I mean I just see a lot of Christmas in this and you know a lot of fun and I really do like it this is one thing I really love Nothing's better than you have coffee, cocktails, cookies, and chocolate, right? So, yeah. Again, I love the fonts on he here. Everything I'm showing you today is photopolymer, so it's super easy to line up. And that's what that looks like. Then you get all of these die cuts on top of it. And these will cut out individual words, that is cookies. I should have done some die cutting to show you what this looks like, but it's also in the catalog. And there's always a clickable link of that on my blog. And this is going to be another fun one. I see this die cut too to die cut it out and just a piece of white paper and draw in a pizza. So there's always options to whatever you want to do. This coffee cup, again, if you draw it out, you could make that like a coffee pot. So I go out of the box with things like this. And am I missing anything? Okay, no. Next up, I have pets. And unfortunately, the stamp set is already back ordered, and I didn't grab that last week. And this is what it looks like. And these dies are going to cut out all of these pets here. This one does have coordinating paper, trinkets. Um, twine and I'll get to that in a second but there's cats and there's dogs this dog punch also coordinates with it and we've been using this cat punch for years especially around Christmas and this also goes with part of the suite too so I thought I would bring that out and show it to you and just look at all these cute little things that you can make um, and they're good sized line art images too so lots of coloring options that you can make and again, this separate, another die cut just to cut out little paws. It's just as cute as can be. And there are these little trinkets of 
Okay, let's let me find some white paper or something. Get a bone and a heart. You can use a heart for Valentine's Day, pretty much anything. So again, more options. And these are nice solid pieces too. If you've had our trinkets before, you know they're really solid. You get two spools, and this is all, again, it's a product suite. So all this comes when you order the entire suite with not 50 million different order numbers. So you get this ribbon here, this real red ribbon, and it's nice and thin, like an eighth of an inch. Again, you can use that for Valentine's Day, Christmas, whatever. What I'm really thrilled about, because you know how I am with my twine, black and white twine, and this is a staple. You're going to see it on a lot of things, and I'll be going through both of this pack of ribbon pretty quick here. And now for the DSP, it is so cute. And remember, these dies will cut out the designer series paper too. I'm not a cutesy person too much, and if you're surprised at this, you'll be really blown away by the next bundle I chose. But I have a Dachshund Jezebel, and so there's one in here. I really wish there was a die cut for that too. And again, these are the dies, so it's going to, you can die cut this dog out. And then there's like a little, this one goes, I don't do live videos very well. This is why I do voiceovers. Okay, that's a cat. But before I did this, I did size everything up, to be honest with you. And those these images like this, they will cut out everything in the DSP. But I want to show you the DSP. The colors are fantastic. And I'm just going to start this way. 24 sheets, two each of 12 sheets, two each. I don't know how many. This is a bad video. I'm sorry. It's all in the catalog. I don't have a lot of things memorized. But I love the black and white part of it. You know, little cursive words on here. Great background paper. And then this covers dogs and cats. It looks like there's real red, flirty flamingo, basic gray, smoky, maybe soft suede, basic black. No, it's not real red. It's that new. No, it is real red. I was going to say magenta madness, but that's a little bit too dark for it. So, dogs, cats gifts, you know, sympathy. Here's another black and white. And this one is more geared towards dog. It'll say wag, play, love, you know. And for the kitties, love, meow, purr, snooze, yawn, jump. Yep, that sums it up. And then we have another piece for the dogs. That was for the cats. And it goes back and forth. This can be, you know, more for cats because there's a fish in there and more kitty cats and this one cuts out was it that one no it was something else but I do know that this will cut out that one there I like to put a piece of whisper white cardstock behind that before I die cut it just so it's um, a little bit more thicker And then we have, uh, I guess that's grass or whatnot. Here is another piece of DSP for the kitties and the little yarns. Th that can be for either or. And here we are back to the dogs. You know how I love stripes. And that is it for, did I get everything? Yes, I did, but the stamp set. So that's it for the pets. I got well done, believe it or not. And again, I'm surprised about this. This is another photopolymer set. It's very geared towards kids, and I don't have a lot of them in my life. It's distinctive. Again, photopolymer, and it comes with this coordinating punch here. And I love this ribbon. It is that sheer organdy ribbon. 
and that is pool party and like I said I love the colors really drew me to this suite here you also get a seabed 3d embossing folder and you know how deeply this embosses and these fantastic sequins tons of color in there as you can see and what's really cool about these is I do have paper here there's like a seashell shape in there as well and I haven't seen that I've seen hearts before and whatnot but I just thought that was really unique so those are the whoops those are the sequins now the DSP is really really cool it is six by six And if I recall, there's 48 sheets in here, and you get four sheets of each pattern. So I went through it and went ahead and flipped it over for you. Like, here's one side, and then here's the other, as you can see. But, I mean, look at those colors. Uh, I think they're fantastic. And we have so many other stamp sets that coordinate with everything I showed you here today that carried over from 2019-2020 catalog. Um, there was that product suite last year, there's another one with seashells, there's paper pumpkin that we have. I mean, the product coordination, you know how I talk about that a lot. It just goes, it works, and it's fantastic. And you can mix and match. So here is, um, I'm going to zoom in real quick. Here's another pattern, and you know, it's going to take up the whole screen, but at least that way you can see it. And then there's more. And those are just coordinating patterns. And things like this, you can take over to use with different sweets, especially if it's solid color. Like you can even cut this off if you wanted to and use it as part of a background of another project. But look at those vivid colors. And I can see shaker cards coming out of this because kids seem to like them. I mean, my 25-year-old son likes shaker cards still. So we have like one of the little ocean. You can, um, again, pair this with anything else that you want to. And these wheels are just the cutest little things ever. And as you can see, if I have my paper lined up right, you know, you pop that right in. Because you know how you have to like cut around it. Okay, there we go. There's kind of maybe something to try. And it just punches right out for you. That could be used on Forever Fern, which is another one of the sweets I got. Because everything that I did get, I have featured on the blog so far, but the world one, and um, yeah, that was it. I don't think I've done the sun, the, I haven't done the flower jars yet. This could also be used for Christmas, Forever Fern. And when I pick what I work with, I take all of that into consideration. This is just the cutest thing ever. And I know it's a funky pattern of squids, but the colors are just amazing. And then again, another part of a little scallopy ocean there. Then we have seahorses. And is that in one of the paper pumpkins I have? Okay, yeah, this is part of the giveaway. And look, we have a seashell there. And if you give me a second, I know exactly which set I'm going to grab for you to show you with another seahorse. And where it is, I hope. I am so sorry, but you know, this is what happens when I go live. And they were right next to each other. Okay, here's Seaside Notions. And look at those size images in that. And you have a seahorse here. And boom, there you go. Instant coordination. More nautical. We have Sailing Home. That was a stamp set I was trying to articulate a couple minutes ago. But, you know, again, there are options. So I have a paper pumpkin so far with that. And then two stamp sets I know of without going through, you know, maybe the 40 that I do have. Here is another neutral pattern that you can use with anything. These little turtles are just the cutest thing in the world. But again, I love the colors. And 
you get a really good variety of them because look at the stark contrast between these two colors. I mean, in here you have oranges and yellows. Over here it's more the, the regal colors. And you have, I forgot what that's called, coral. And back to the Seaside Notions, you have that. I'm going to say, you know, seaweed. I've stepped in enough of it at beaches, you know, and in the ocean in California. More whales. Let's see if I can get, like, a better idea of the punch here. Yeah, here we go. You know, all you do is, like, line it up and punch it up. Then we just have more ocean fed floor stuff. More coral, seaweed, whatever. Turtles. That pattern can be used for anything. And this is just so cute. Again, I love those colors. School of Fish. And that is the last one right there. So that is pretty much my haul. Um, I will put everything down on the blog and give you a link again underneath this YouTube description as far as what you have to sign up for and what you want to do to enter into these different drawings. The, yeah, I did go over June 10th today. Last day you can sign up for Paper Pumpkin. Everything right here is available to you in the catalog. And I look forward to all your responses. Good luck in the drawing. And, you know, don't forget to leave a comment, hit like, and subscribe. Sign up for the newsletter. I, I send one out every Tuesday, and I'm getting really good about that, too. And I'm getting better on Facebook. So thank you for stopping by to visit me today real quick. God bless. Have a great day. And I will see you this weekend for our Saturday video. And I do apologize for not having one last weekend. It's just, you know, been busy, and I explained that on... Tuesday's blog post. So again, have a good one and I will see you Saturday. Bye.